What's up dudes, my name is Nick. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I am gonna be talking about my recent obsession with the music that Tiffany Young has been releasing for the last two years or so, year and a half, however long it's been. Um, I don't really know because if we're gonna be honest, like I'm pretty sure the title of this video says, I've been just like not paying attention to anything that she's done. Uh, as a solo artist outside of, you know, the Korean music sphere. Um, because I kind of, mostly because of my YouTube channel, to be completely honest, um, I put myself into a box when it comes to the music that I listen to so that I was really only paying attention to Korean releases. Um, whether that was something that was, you know, K-pop or mainstream or even like indie kind of stuff, just was limited. It was laser focused on listening to Korean language music. And not paying attention to anything else. And that's probably a reason why I've gotten burnt out or I got burnt out over the last year or so on just following music or listening or just keeping up with the YouTube channel in general because there's just no sort of variety and like the Korean music just like never, ever, ever ends. And so being so like intensely following it was kind of exhausting. But this year kind of like dialed that back a little bit, the intensity that I've been into K-pop and listening to other things you know, stuff that I liked when I was before K-pop came into my life and, and just new stuff in general. And uh, the last w couple weeks, I think it was, Tiffany Young entered my life and I am changed forever, if we're going to be completely honest. Um, I was really just, I just really, honest to God, the only reason that I I think, or the, the motivation for me to listen to her, any of her music um, was because she's, she performed in Chicago a couple days ago, uh, on the second of the month, Saturday. I wasn't able to go because I had to work. Um, but I was looking into it. I was like, is is it something that I want to do? Like, do I want to drive five hours north to Chicago to see somebody have no idea anything about their music except for the fact that they were a K-pop idol at one point in their life? Uh, maybe still, who really knows? Um, but is it, do I really want to spend that money and do put all that time and effort to go and see this woman perform when I don't know anything about the music that she's going to be performing? So I, I checked it out. I listened to her most recent release. And her most recent release, which I think was put out maybe at this point, maybe like a month or so ago, um, was the song titled Burn For Your Life. And that was an amazing experience. Uh, the, the music was very cool and interesting, and I really enjoyed it. And the music video was stunning. The music video was really good. I, I absolutely loved every aspect of Run For Your Life with the song and the music video. It, it did a fantastic job of of listening to, of just kind of capturing my attention. So that's where I started. And from where I first listened to this, to this song to now, um, I, as I'm looking at my, you know, playlist or my um, streaming, my music streaming thing with a playlist that I've got put together with all of her music, uh, I've I've got Run for Your Life has got about two hundred and ten plays uh, that that I've that I've listened to it. I've listened to it two hundred and some some odd times. That's kind of a lot, probably. Um, but like that's how much I like it. I know for one full day at work, I basically just only listen to that song. Um, but that was kind of where where everything started, and then I branched out and listened to the rest of her music, and it just I'm I'm just I'm just blown away for a variety of reasons. So let's go through it a little bit. So first off, I think one of the most, the biggest things potentially, probably, most likely, in all honesty, is the fact that the song, that the music is in English, um, because I actually understand the lyrics. I know this is crazy, but like, I don't know Korean, and you know, listening to K-pop music, all of the lyrical content um, is missed by me. Um, especially when I listen to the song the first time and I not and I don't watch and I basically don't listen to music with subtitles because when I listen to music I don't want to read while I'm listening to music you know it's a little I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense but that's the personal way that I want to listen to music um, so you know all of the songs that are like emotionally deep and stuff like that that I pick up on based off of what I'm hearing I have no idea what the song is about. I don't know any of the, you know, lyrical contents, the story, the meaning, the emotion that are being conveyed by the words. I don't know anything. I don't I don't get that picture. I, I just get the sound. So to to actually listen to a song and kind of connect the lyrical content and the the picture that's being illustrated or whatever by the lyrics 
and then connecting that to the sound of the song is something that's a completely different level of enjoying music. I mean, you know, and let's be, let's be honest. Like I say that it doesn't matter, but it does to a certain extent. You know, not knowing Korean doesn't really affect my enjoyment of Korean music, but it definitely, if I knew Korean and I was able to understand it like I do English, like it would take my enjoyment and my appreciation to a completely different level. I can enjoy Korean music probably just the same as I do English music, but it takes a little bit more work because I have to look up like, lyrics and I don't want to do that for every single song that I listen to. So to, to listen to like the 10 or so songs that, that Tiffany's put out in English and just immediately understand all the words for the most part is is game changing kind of. And every every single song I think is significant and there's something that is pretty major that you can be that you can take away from all of these songs and that kind of goes into that ties into my second point which i think that every single song that she's released is meaningful in one way or another um meaningful specifically for her like she made the song because the content of it she wrote the lyrics on stuff because the, the content of that song the reason that the song exists is something that is meaningful for her and then the, that meaning then translates to the people that listen to the songs. Um, there's quite a few songs that I've kind of listened to that I think are pretty meaningful for me personally, which I think is fantastic. That, again, ties into the whole English language aspect of it. Um, but but that's really good. You know, I don't necessarily get that from a lot of the mainstream, you know, K-pop music, that it's stuff that is, like, meaningful because, to be honest, most of it, 99.9% .9 of it, isn't written by anybody who's a part of the group and has any sort of personal connection to the music they're just performing what they're told more or less or what they're given um which is fine you know that's, that's I, I listen to k-pop and it's cool and that's not a criticism but uh you know tiffany's writing her own stuff maybe she's producing her own music i don't really know that too much i haven't done that much research but um regardless the the stuff that she performs the the music that's been released is something that is is meaningful to her and also you know that just goes down to it being meaningful to the people that listen to it. Um, and, I, and I really like it. And then the third thing that I'm really enjoying about it is that every single song is different. Like, there's, they're, they're, they're just all different. They're, they're, they got different vibes to them. They've got different, you know, flows. They got different feels. Different, you know, uh, like the composition of the music. Every single song is different in, in their own way. Um, and, and that's cool too, you know, because I am just coming from... Again, listening to K-pop where you kind of get runs of songs or releases from groups where they're all relatively somewhat similar. Of course, they're all different and unique, but they're mostly similar. And then you listen to the solo music from Tiffany that is, you know, every single song is is different. Whether it's a single or her, you know, Lips on Lips EP, um, every single song is pretty significantly different. Um, and then even going beyond that, going going back to like her very first solo music that she released when she was um still you know kind of releasing stuff within the whole korean music industry um her her first you know mini album i want to dance that song um and i guess the name of the album too um her her english music is very much different from that too and the 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 variety and the and that on uh comparing lips on lips to her english ep to i just want to dance her korean album um one of those albums is very diverse and different. One of the other, one of those albums, every song sounds unique and it sounds different, but it's not necessarily like the most, um, you know, different and variated, I guess, sort of, as I, I just thought a variated was the, was the right word, but varied, I think, is probably more appropriate. <laughs> but uh, I Just Want to Dance is not the most varied sounding album, if I'm going to be completely honest. Now, like, that's a bad thing, because I think that all of those songs are, are really good, too. But it just is, like, there's, it's just different. You know, it's two, two completely different sides of the same coin, um, which are equally good, I think, but they, they've got a different vibe. The different kinds of Tiffany. Um, I guess we can say it like that. So those are just, like, the three, three things that, I, that I'm liking. Uh, three songs. We're just going to end this with three songs that I'm loving right now. And I'm not going to specifically tell you why, because this, this video has gone on long enough. But number one, I already said... I'm really liking Run For Your Life. That song is fantastic. Um, I just I just like like the vibe of it in, in every single way. Uh, number two is her single, Teach You. I really, really like that song too. 
kind of fun. And then her other, the other one is the other, another one of her singles titled Over My Skin, which is very good. I, I just really like the, again, the vibe and the feel of that song too. And the lyrical content is, I like it. I we'll, we'll just, we'll just say that you'll have to listen to it and, and kind of see and potentially guess what I, what I'm talking about with that. So I encourage you guys, if you haven't listened to any of her solo English music to definitely, definitely go check it out and uh, listen to some stuff. Tell me if you like it or not, what you like about it, what your favorite songs were or anything like that. And uh, if you already are a fan of Tiffany Young's solo music, then let me know what your favorite songs are down in the comments below and we can talk about it because that's why I make these videos. I just want to kind of provide a topic for people to discuss things, um, you know, relating to the topic of the video. And like I said, that's what, that's what we're trying to do here. So I encourage you to leave a comment below so we can discuss. And uh, that's going to be it for this video because I got nothing else to say. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.